The Kaaba in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, is considered by Muslims to be the most sacred and holy place in the world. It is said to have been built by Adam and became the first structure on earth. It is believed to have been commissioned by Allah in the shape of the house in heaven called Battle Mamor, around which the angels perform tawaf. The structure incorporates a black stone into one corner that is believed to have been sent down by Allah. So important is this site in Islam that Muslims from all over the world prostrate themselves toward the Kaaba when they repeat their prayers to Allah five times a day. Muslims are also required to perform the Hajj at least once in their lifetime, which consists of traveling to Mecca and circumambulating the Kaaba. Crowd size permitting, each round is to begin by rubbing or kissing the black stone as Muhammad did, or at least pointing to the stone on each of the seven circuits one walks around it. Kaaba is said to be situated at the center of the world, the gate of heaven, located directly above it. According to the Quran, the Kaaba was rebuilt by Abraham and Ishmael and has presumably been the center of worship for Allah's people ever since. However, it's interesting to note that in the 7th century AD in which Muhammad lived, the Kaaba was a center of pagan worship of some 360 rock idols that resided in and around the Kaaba. Muhammad took issue with the polytheists and eventually gained the power to have all of the rock idols removed, except for the black stone, a meteorite, that still resides at the Kaaba today. So the question begs, if Allah commissioned the above described building to be constructed at the center of the world and right below the gate to heaven, why then did God give Moses its specific instruction to build a tabernacle on Mount Moriah that was completed almost 3,000 years ago that stood 766 miles from Mecca? One of the difficulties with Muhammad's view is that there is no record outside of Islamic tradition of Abraham ever having been in Mecca. An even greater, indeed insurmountable, difficulty is that there is no historical or archaeological record of Mecca ever having existed prior to the first few centuries AD. While there is plenty of such evidence that confirms that Arabian cities like Qadar, Dedan, and Tema were established long before, there is no such evidence that Mecca ever existed before the Christian era. Try a search like Archaeology of Mecca or Historical and Archaeological Evidence of Mecca. If you can find some evidence that predates the first few centuries AD that demonstrates that Mecca existed prior to the Christian era, we would appreciate you sharing it with us in the forum. In the absence of such archaeological and historical record, what can be concluded about Muhammad's 7th century religion? If Mecca has been the epicenter of Islam since the time of Abraham, it would follow that there would be increasingly more archaeological evidence in the form of artifacts and such, the closer one traveled to this focus of Muhammad's religion. It also follows that there should be a greater pre-Christian historical record for Mecca than perhaps most any other Arabian city, but no such record exists. Compare this to Jerusalem, for example, the epicenter of Judeo-Christian beliefs. One can hardly pick up a shovel full of earth in Jerusalem that doesn't contain artifacts, and the closer one gets to Jerusalem, the more concentrated and abundant such artifacts are. Indeed, there are even one million artifacts on display. It is also interesting to note that the name Mecca, mentioned in Quran Surah 4824, and again in 3350, but in parentheses, is by some suggested to be transformed into the name Baca that is found in Surah 396, somehow changing over the brief 23 years of Muhammad's record. Even if this were the case, Islam's holiest city its most important geographical location since Adam would then only be mentioned three times in the Quran. Compare this with the name Jerusalem, which is mentioned 
814 times in 767 verses in the Word of God. Isn't that interesting? Some Muslims suggest that there is at least a scriptural record of Mecca mentioned in the Old Testament as the Hebrew name Becca, or balsam trees, by removing the following verse from context and suggesting a similarity with the Arabic name Becca from the Quran. Who passing through the valley of Becca make it a well, the rain also fill at the pools. But the most obvious difficulty with this claim is the very next verse. They go from strength to strength, every one of them, in Zion appeareth before God. Zion is mentioned 153 times in God's word because it is the name of the easternmost hill of ancient Jerusalem. Thus we see this passage describing a journey to Zion, to Jerusalem, to the Holy Land. Baca simply being a stop along the way. In conclusion, in the absence of archaeological or historical record, any pre-first century Mecca or Kaaba would seem nothing more than a desert mirage. There is, however, abundant historical record of men venerating meteorites. Please visit the links in the upper right or just below the video for the text version that includes additional support as well as a link to forum discussion of this subject and a link to a printable PDF. Please visit brotherpete.com. Please join us in the Islam Christian Forum at brotherpete.com for discussion on this as well as many other subjects including Islam and Bible prophecy.